Yes, we spent all summer working on this car. Let me drive it already. Yeah, okay, okay. Go easy, though. I don't want any surprises. what this thing's got. Floor it. Ooh, she's fast, Yaz. Corner coming up. I see it. the handling right. <laughs> Come on, you thought we weren't making it. Shut up and test out the knobs. No use having all these horses if we ain't gonna run them. Love the smell of Nas. <laughs> gonna smell like victory when we cross that finish line. That's some grade A confidence. But you blame me? The car is straight fire, Yaz. Those months of hard work paid off. We've been watching this scene for so long, can't believe we're finally getting the chance to race. Damn, would you look at that? Lakeshore street racing community on display. It's time to play. Finally, we're off the bench and in the game. Our baby is holding her own. Did you think we'd ever do this? On the sidelines, at the meetups, watching all these races? I always dream, but here now, weaving through the streets, us in the car, <laughs> it's freedom. Whoa, pretty deep. Usually you're all just, pass me the torque wrench, bruh. Must be the car. I can't believe Rydell gave us a junker and we turned her into this. What was the boss thinking, letting her rust in the garage? He was gonna work on it, he just never found the time. Well, he's gonna lose his shit when he sees her now. We're gonna do Rydell's rides proud. Put the garage on the map. Here. The hell they come from? Stevenson should set her attack dogs on some real criminals. They're fast. Lose the cops at the bridge, quick! It's all in the reflexes. Who knew you had them? Nice driving, though, seriously. Nice mechanic game, seriously. Lake ain't ready for this. Their words. Whose words? Street racing community. We're making a splash. What? Already? Didn't take long for the lake to notice. All right, we're coming up to the bridge. Hit the gas. Shit, Gaz, I don't know about this. How else we gonna lose the cops? Hey, make sure! Oh, God damn, how real is this? I know the mall gonna be feeling this. East Coast, Coast. Well, how chill is this? Still don't give a shit. My ignorance is still a blip. Chris Cross. Well, who clipped on this nigga? Dog, my bitch boss. Chris Cross. Who told me that nigga be really shit? Two dope boys scale, but I stole pills. No bail, put her on her feet, toenails. Oh, goddamn. How chill is this? I know the whole world can be feeling this.
Yes, now my DMs are blowing up about this meetup in the Heights tonight. Like I said, people are putting serious money on the line. It's our time, yo. Damn. <laughs> well, what you think, boss? She sounds pretty. Mmm, <laughs> smells nice, too. I love me the smell of gasoline. That explains a lot. I gotta say, I can't believe you two turned my old junker out back into this. Believe. The lake better watch out. Mmm. What? She's street legal? Right, and I'm LeBron. Look, I'm not gonna tell you not to race. I know what it's like to feel that need for, uh, that, you know, the need for, uh... For what? That's the gasoline talking. Uh, just do me a favor. Don't be racing with those assholes from Cyril Heights. Wait, aren't you from Cyril Heights? Yeah, and that's how I know what those assholes be up to. Nothing good. Rydell, you have always said I'm an excellent judge of character. I ain't never said that. <laughs> what, you don't <laughs> trust me? Just win, I... Woo, woo! I I'm serious. Don't just say shit. Win shit. Let's get ready. I'm telling you, bruh, tonight's the night. All she needs is a name. So, let's talk about my raise. Yeah, if you can do that to a customer's car, maybe. <laughs> what customers? Hey, we're finally hitting our stride here. Got a few new clients dropping off their car soon, as a matter of fact. Looking for that Rydell touch. The Jasmine touch. The garage's touch, okay? That's right. Hey, Rydell. Hey, kid. What's happening out there? Well, we just headed out, so not much. Hey, Rydell. Know any good spots to eat in the Heights? Ha, ha, ha. I said no Heights, no eats, no assholes. I hear you. We'll just find something when we get there. Maybe roast a steak over a dumpster fire. Hey. She's joking. You're joking, right, Yaz? Sure. Totally. Yo, first meetup as racers. You ready? Just be cool, all right? We gotta look like we know what we're doing. There'll be some big players there today, and they ain't gonna hang with us if we look basic. All right, I mean, we're good enough, right? Our ride has to match our ambition. It needs to look the part. Racing ain't just about winning. Just hope we don't disappoint. I just hang with your girl. I know what's up. Whoa. I've never seen a meetup this packed before. Better get your game face on. Shit. What? I'm feeling the pressure. Then strap in. Welcome to Lakeshore. You have to be this tall to ride. I got this. I'm doing this. I'm literally doing this right now. That's it. Keep up with them. Don't look now, but I'm about to pass. If we get pulled over, I'ma tell him you jacked me. Wait, what? <laughs> Just playing. I'm glad it's you in the car with me. Been a long time coming. Just don't tell Rydell. Tell him what? That's what I'm talking about. What? Where'd you come from? This race is still gonna be mine.
That meetup felt weird. Needed a bit more style, you know? <laughs> you wouldn't know style if it fell out of the sky. <laughs> Please, I'm only letting you drive this thing because you needed something to do. <sighs> what are you talking about? I have lots to do. Posing on the hood, looking cool, the usual. I'm telling you, when I'm running those meetups, they'll be epic. When you're running those meetups? I'm not gonna be in that garage forever, you know. This girl's got ambition, you feel me? Ambition to finally get some style. I always have a plan. I don't doubt that. I do doubt that you have style, though. Mayor Morgan Stevenson is ready to help rebuild Lakeshore. Because a city is only as strong as its foundation. Morgan Stevenson is that foundation. Paid for by Waterside Construction, making Lakeshore great again, one corporate headquarters at a time. Oh, goody. More tech billionaires. Just what the lake needs. Yo, watch out for blue lights. Heat from earlier ain't died down yet. Imagine us on the evening news. Rydell would blow a gasket. <laughs> hey, it would be great PR for the garage. So what's next for you? After the race? <laughs> after the race, after Rydell's. You can't work there your whole life. <sighs> Never thought about it. I was just focused on getting out of the foster system. Rydell's rides is exactly where I need to be. He's been good to us. Yeah, he has. Tell you the truth, most stable place I've been in a minute. But sometimes, I don't know, I get this itch in the back of my skull. Nah, man. We found somewhere we belong now. Somewhere solid. And we got a plan. Win shit. <laughs> no, we gonna win shit. Lots of shit. Hey, kid, you ass there? Yo, what's up? You see my pipe wrench? That one you nicknamed Wrenchy? Yeah, Wrenchy. Where is he? You try the red cabinet? Of course I tried the red cabinet. I always try the red cabinet. Never mind. Where was he? The, um, it was in the, um, you know. Mm hmm Later, Rydell. Rydell! I pulled an all-nighter on those client cars. Looking good, right? Not bad at all. But you need to remove the filter to make sure you fit the plug back properly. Come on now. No, I don't. You know I'd be happier if you did it by the book. I had like three cars to do. This way was faster. Okay, well, let's see what the client says. They're expecting it back today. Now, hey, why don't you grab some coffee? You look tired. That's all you can say to me after I worked all night? Yeah, whatever. I'm going to take a walk and clear my head. Hey, Yaz. We good? Yeah, we're good. Great. So what's up? Can you pick up a buddy of mine? He's got some heat on him, needs some fast wheels. You got it. Heading there now. Yo, what's with your boy, Rydell? My boy. Take the filter out? I busted my ass all night while he was watching the spins lose another game. Didn't you volunteer? <sniffs> Whatever. Don't take it personal. He appreciates you. You know he does. So you on his side now? Yes, it's not about sides. Rydell just likes things done his way. Yes? Yes? Damn. Name's Rudiger. I need to get to my safe house. Now. Wow, Rudiger. No foreplay, huh? What is this, a date? I need a ride, or are we going to have a problem? We cool. I got you. I guess you're not big on small talk, are you? I'd rather you talk less and drive more. Okay, yeah, not a problem. I don't need to fill the void with talk. <laughs> nope. Not me. I am totally cool. Just sitting in silence. I can still hear you. Okay, I guess you didn't fully suck. Wow, glowing endorsement. Hey, before you go, can I get a review from you? Because I think it would really, really help me out. Are you always this needy? Damn, Rudiger. I really thought we had something going here. Just get me to where I need to be. Cops seem like they really wanted to talk. It's the same everywhere. 
They've made their mind up about you and want to take you down. Ah, I got it. So, you're innocent. Depends on your definition of innocent. Uh, not guilty? Then no. I'm not, as you say, innocent. Okay, then. You know, that wasn't bad. You've made a friend today, friend. And my friends are always welcome at my safe house. Thanks, Rudy. I feel like we made a breakthrough here. Do not call me that. Call me by my street name. Which is... Der Nail. What does that make me? Der Hammer? I'm going to regret calling you. Hey, Rydell. Yo, kid, you a yes? Nah, out on my own. What's up? Just called to say the client was really happy with their car. Nice work, team. Got beef? We do. Check out our deal on Prime Ribeye, aisle 19. Where are you? The supermarket. I'm thinking about, uh, buying up the old drum out back. Get one of my briskets going. I'll do my dad's secret marinade you like so much. You know, to celebrate. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm in! All right. Tell your ass when you speak to her, okay? Sure thing. Yo, what's up? Rydell called. He's firing up his oil drum and making his brisket with his dad's secret marinade. You in? I'm busy. Oh, come on, Yaz. He said the clients like their cars. So? So he's happy. He wants to celebrate. Together. Then why didn't he call me? I put in the work. Now dude thinks he can win me over with brisket? Nah, bruh. Just talk it out. You'll see that he means well. I got a call coming through. Later. Mayor Stevenson, you've been in office for a while now. What are your plans for Lakeshore? You know, now more than ever, we need to back the boys in blue as they protect us from those who treat Lakeshore like their own personal playground. From graffiti to street racing, these illicit activities are tearing our once great city apart like wet tissue paper. If you want a cleaner, safer Lakeshore, support my plans. Exactly what we need. More cops who hate racers on the streets. Yo, check out that tuning kit. That's the look I'd be going for, no doubt. Rydell, where'd that come from? The tuning kit? I ordered it for a customer, but they never picked it up, so it's just gathering dust. It's up for grabs? Yeah, it cost. Thanks, boss. This will make the car look dope for the race on Saturday. Hey, you know we got that big money race coming up? We better make sure our ride is looking the part. Yo, tell me when you ready to head out. I'm not spending all night here again. Yo, you both on hand here tonight? Uh, no, nah, I was just saying we going out. Oh, okay. Oh, you just be careful out there, all right? We got more cars coming in early, too. Will do, boss. Damn, dude only cares about his business. I hear there's some sick race routes planned tonight. Let's tear the lake up. Check this out. Some chick is live streaming about the mayor. Alec just shot me a link. Alec? Yeah, you know, the guy from that thing. Shh, she's on. What's up, Lakeshore? Okay, so tonight's live stream will expose the corruption behind the no-nonsense for nonsense policy. Cute name, right? But there's nothing cute about what's happening to the people of this city. Look, we have inside information that will finally expose this administration and how they are the real criminals of Lakeshore. But first, do you like your mattress? Oh, shit. I think I hate my mattress. Yo, what would you say if I told you there was a way to make some cash besides racing? I'd say I like both my kidneys. Nothing serious yet, but my boy Alec could be looking for a driver. Hold on, remind me, Alec is... Friend I rolled with from before. We were in the same foster home. Damn, you see the buy-ins on some of these races? We can't get that kind of cash playing it safe. There's gotta be another way.
What are you looking at? I'm not worried. I've seen you drive. Uh hey, you are good with uh... Cops on our tail. Almost lost them. Well, well, well. Got fresh eyes on that driver. Re-engaging. Street racer managed to shake me, dispatch. Damn it, we just lost that suspect on Kennedy test track. Dispatch, we lost him. Pursuit ending. Yo, I heard from Alec. He's legit impressive. Got a major hustle. A hustle? Gonna hit him up and see if he's got something for us. How come I never met him before? You've never met my Uncle Choppy either. I got people you don't know, all right? All right. As I said, we came up in the system together. You looked out for me. Yeah, I know. I came through that system too, remember? You got lucky. I bounced around so much. Alec was there for me when no one else was. When I came to Rydell's, we drifted apart. But he called me a couple of days ago out of the blue. Out of the blue, huh? No, it's not like that. He saw us race and reached out. Look, he's good people. He can help us out with getting some more money. All right, all right, fine. I trust you. You know that. We're going to kill it. Looks like Alec might be at the meetup. Let's make sure we impress out there. All right. Just locked in some more clients. Words getting out about this garage. Great. I'm happy for you. Happy for us? I wouldn't be here without you two. This garage isn't just a business, it's a family. That must be why we get minimum wage. There's a bunch of cars needing a tune-up. The game? Yeah, sure thing. You here, Rydell, back at the garage? I wasn't really paying attention. What do you say? Do you know how many times I've heard the we're a family speech? Trust me, the only person you should be loyal to is yourself. Yes, quiet. Hey, Rydell. Hey, just wanted to wish you both luck for the big race. You got this. Thanks, Pops. Just remember, don't just say shit. Win shit. Win shit. That's right. Well, break it. A... Don't know where I'm going with this. See you back at the garage. What was that about? Maybe he's trying to apologize. It usually starts with sorry. Well, that's just Rydell. He's old school. Yeah, old something. Hi. you win this.
baby. That's what I'm talking about. They didn't know what hit them. I told you, baby driver. My brains, your skills. Match made in race in heaven. And Rydell's rides. Wait till he hears about this. Pride is gonna be real. Yeah, he might even break out the grill in his dad's secret marinade. Oh, shit, hold up. Alex calling. What up, fam? Yeah, impressive, huh? Little garage run by... I told you, bro. I don't know, like a bunch. A bunch of what? What, tonight? Yeah, you know it. Thanks. Peace. All right. What was that about? Alex gig. Wait, now? I thought we were going back to the garage. Transport job. Simple pick up and drop off. He's sending over the info now. We're not passing this up. It's our time, yo. All right, fine. Let's do this. I don't know, Yaz. This seems sketchy. What did I say about taking risks? If we impress this guy, we'll reap the benefits. But there's no second chances. Do you have any idea what ride we're picking up? Knowing my boy, something legit. Yo, what I tell you? My boy Alec got the hookup. Check out this ride. Damn, yes, nice. You take it. I'll drive ours to the drop-off behind you. On it. We're keeping this little job between us, right? Don't mind if I do. All right, you got the drop-off location. Let's not wait around. For sure. I can't wait to see what this thing can do. Shit! Damn it, Jasmine. Is this car hot? Uh, maybe. Let's split up. I'll meet you at the drop-off. Got it. Stay safe. Dispatch, I don't have eyes on that 2440 anymore. Racer just vanished at University Central. Spread out and find the suspect. Lost visual on that 2440. Calling it. Come on, Yaz. Pick up. Pick up. Yo, it's Yaz. Leave a message and I might get back to you. Probably won't, but I might. Yo, Yaz, where are you? I'm at the drop-off and there's nothing here. Are, are you sure this Alec guy gave you the right address? Shit. Yaz, the garage alarm just got tripped. Are you satisfied with this message? Screw it. I gotta get back to the garage. Thanks for calling Rydell's Rides. Call back during normal business hours. Shit. Yo, it's Yaz. Leave a message and I might get back to you. Probably won't, but I might. Shit. Where is everybody? Rydell, you okay? They emptied a lot. Wait here. Shit! I knew it. I told y'all. Jasmine, who is that? I don't know that dude. Yes, let's go! They just said your name. 
Rydell, she was with me all night. Who did you tell about this place? I didn't. You didn't what? You didn't go to the Heights? Laugh about how trusting the old man is? Well, who's gonna trust me now? Hold up! Took your ass in when no one else wanted you. Whoa, Rydell, you gotta chill. Yes, wait. What the hell? Did she just take the car? Kia, she took everything. They said no one could clean up Lakeshore. She grabbed the mob. Re-elect Mayor Morgan Stevenson, the leader Lakeshore deserved. Hey, Rydell. Kinda dead again today. Some old lady did come in for an oil change. She didn't have any money, though. Just samosas. Yours is in the fridge. Uh, well... I'm gonna lock up for now. See if I can make a few extra bucks on the side. Oh, uh, I did clean out the storeroom, and dude, you were right. That is a possum, not a rat. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. He's still in there. Oh, hey, the, the book you ordered came in. Bro, if you ever need to talk, I'm here. I'll be in early tomorrow to open up, okay? Peace. All right. Who needs a ride? Hello, Rydell's Rides. Need a lift? Hey, name's Jess. Heard you might be a good person to call for a cheap ride. I'll hit you with the address on where I'm heading. No sweat. I'll be there soon. Yeah, I was like, yo, bro. And yo, check this, bro. He was all like, if you know, you know, bro. And you know what I said? <laughs> bro! Hi, um, Tess? Yo! Yo, I'm running a little late, so if you could, uh, you know. I got you. What, do you have a pet chinchilla or like a... A possum or something? Uh, no. Why? Really? No reason. I'm just gonna crack this window. So, what's this address? Headed to this empty lot off the underpass. You know it? That was an old meetup spot for local street racers. Ah, you race? Something like that. Anyways, cops have that spot pretty locked down now. <laughs> the scene's about to get a big shakeup from what I hear. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. If you know, you know, and I know, bro. So what's up? You're in the racing scene, but don't have a car? Real Gs get rides. I also like being on time. Yo, does this thing go any faster? Five stars, great conversation. Hey, you should stick around. Might be worth your while. Yeah, maybe I will. I haven't seen this many racers in one place in a minute. What brought everyone back out? The love of racing, bruh. The need to express oneself behind the wheel. And money also. Yeah, probably money. I forgot how much I missed this. 
I can see why. I'm gonna do the rounds, figure out what's up. Thanks for the lift, Speedy. That's my car. Yes? All right, all right, focus up. Let's go! I'm glad to see y'all showed up. How many years has it been, for real? The man cracks down a little bit and we all bitch out? I thought this was Lakeshore. I thought this was a racing scene. Flex in with your super tuners and your muscle cars. That guy. Woo. What's it gonna take, huh, to remind you why we got into this? Stacks. Nailed it. Three qualifiers, high risk. You have a run-in with the cops, you take them on. You make it, and I will see you in the finals. The Lakeshore Grand. You want to win? Then you had better be the best. Seven days until the first qualifier. Earn your place. Yes. Yo, Speedy, you still want that five-star rating? Then show me what you got. Five stars? I got you. We got company. I need help bringing this one in. We're hit, repeat. This creep just hit us. I aim to shut this part down today. 2440 lost. I'm calling it. I was sensing some hostility between you and Miss Monologue back there. What you saw back there? That's my car that she's driving. Weird. Looked like her car that she was driving. She even had the front to keep the license plate. Wait till Rydell hears this. Who? Oh, he, uh, he runs the garage. This garage? Is it nearby? I'm thinking now's a good time for us to get off the street. <sighs> yeah, no kidding. On it. So, gotta ask, was she always like that? Like what? Trying so hard. Look, that ain't the guys I know, but it's been a while. This is it, Rydell's Rides. Not bad. Thank you, he's a little work. <laughs> so, this is where Yaz started off, huh? Get the hell out of my shop. Wasn't me. Whoa, whoa. Kid, you triggered the alarm system. Hey, no touching. Sorry. This is Tess. I almost took your head off. Nice to meet you, slugger. Rydell, I saw Jasmine. She just pulled up at this meetup. You kidding? She still had the car. And she's still with that same crew that jacked our garage, setting up some high-stakes circuit called the Lakeshore Grand. <laughs> Corny. With our car. I need to beat her. I need the garage. I need your help. Throw down, kid. Now, let's say you do this, okay? And you throw down with Jasmine and you beat her in a street race. So what? So what? That's what this garage was all about. And now look at this place. We're fine. This yours? Didn't I say no touching? Mr. Rides of Rydell's Rides. Love that name, by the way. Full disclosure, I went to that meetup tonight looking for a racer. Then the cops showed up and I was like, <laughs> oh yeah. And the kid was crazy fast out running them. Now, I'm thinking, learn from the best. Listen, I got what you need, cash. And you two got what I want, a reason to win. How about I make an investment in this garage, rep you in the race, maybe open some doors? Come on, Rido. I can win. We can bring this place back.
I'm in. Woohoo! Just promise me, no matter what Jasmine does, you do it the right way. Deal? Deal. So, Rydell, got any rides out back? Welcome to Rydell's Rides. <laughs> I have some customers looking for a delivery that could help us earn some cash before the next race. Nice! Judging by this place, you used to race yourself. I uh, sure did. Man, do I have some stories about the old days. Oh, <laughs> I bet. I have you know I used to run these streets. Oh, so you ran? On foot, I see. That's what street racing was like before the car was invented, huh? <laughs> Why don't you worry about getting this team funded? Your kid. Want to catch up about the scene. Ugh. Is this gonna be another one of those we did things differently when I used to race type calls? Hey, back in the day, winning wasn't a be-all and end-all. So it is one of those calls. I used to race against this real loud mouth. <laughs> I can relate. Whole race just wouldn't shut up. So one day, I throw down some stacks. Called them out. Told him, let's race for more than just bragging rights. How about next month's rent? Oh, shit. What'd he do? Put his money where his trash talking mouth was. After that, side bets became the norm in the scene. Damn, Rydell. Remember, though, know your opponent. Don't be thinking you're better than you are. Fast way to lose a lot of money. Got it, Rydell. Thanks, boss. Appreciate you. Hey, Speedy. We've got six days to get into the first qualifier. Let's make some cash and pimp this new ride up to spec. I hear you. Oh, and I've been doing some digging. Sounds like the Grand is going to be four stages, four different vehicles. Four? So you going to loan me the money for those as well? Why is this starting to sound like a pyramid scheme? <laughs> Speedy! Trust issues much? Did someone hurt you in the prologue of your life? <laughs> Wait, you have been digging into me too? Nah, game recognizes game. Don't worry, I'm working on scoring you a little side hustle. Maybe make a little extra something something before the next qualifier? So you're my manager now. Manager? Ooh, I like the sound of that. But I don't do pep talks. The only thing that talks in this world is money. So go make some. That I can do. Yo, I'm gonna do a little digging about Yaz and the crew she's rolling with. I have a feeling she isn't the only one behind the grand. Really? Wow. Um, I'm curious, what gave it away? The huge prize money? Maybe she's been giving rides to randos for cash in your car. Anywho, I'm craving boba. Peace. Today at City Hall, Mayor Stevenson announced increased funding for the Lakeshore PD. Cars are causing havoc on our streets. After last night's high speed antics endangering the good citizens of Lakeshore, I'm pushing my no-nonsense for nonsense policy into action. Make sense? Nonsense. Hey, Speedy! Listen, I got some higher paying jobs if you're willing to get your hands dirty. Ooh, a little extra cash wouldn't hurt. But Rydell doesn't know won't hurt him, right? Yeah, because that worked out so well last time. The garage got jacked. And now I'm trying to win my car back. Any of this ring a bell? Uh-huh. Ooh, ooh, don't forget my cut. I don't want to have to break your thumbs. <laughs> JK, blood makes me squeamish. Well, I'm getting ramen and watching that new reality show where they put naked people on stage and make them sing for clothes. Season finale. <gasps> Maybe one of them will finally get socks. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. How'd it go out there today? Not bad. Tess seems to be on it, so that's something. 
good to hear. Okay, listen, you know Jasmine is gonna do anything it takes to win, right? Yeah, kind of got that feeling. Okay, so make sure the car's performing. You gotta pimp it, don't scrimp it. Pimp it, don't scrimp it? <laughs> yeah, you know, improve the performance of the car and earn some money. Oh, no, no, I get it. I just, I hadn't heard that before. Good, right? I might stick it on a t-shirt. Anyway, see you back at the garage. Whatever you say, Rydell. So, Big Shot, you find anything out about Jasmine and her crew? Not much, but may I just say, thank you for calling me Big Shot. Mm. <laughs> Don't push it. Sounds like Jasmine's running with the crew from Cyril Heights. They keep everything pretty low-key. I just know they have big money, so we better be ready. The Heights. <laughs> Don't worry. The kid will be. Hey, are you living? In the fast lane. Just what I want to hear. Some major talent is planning on taking over a district tonight. Major talent? Eraser? My lips are sealed, Speedy. Let's just say, you'll want to make an impression. The only thing leaving an impression is the vagueness of these calls. It's all part of the mystique. So, what's the deal tonight? No cops, only racers. No cops? How'd they manage that? I don't ask those type of questions. All I know is it's cop-free. And you gotta bring some style. You know that thing cool people have? <laughs> oh, right. Cool people. Like you? Exactly. Some advice from one cool cat. Maybe spruce up your wheels a little. You want to bring the show, right? Well, I like my ride. Aw, I know you do. But this ain't the 90s anymore. Hey, kid, I got a Lamborghini Aventador. Belongs to a buddy of mine, and he wants to see what this supercar's got. Whoo, that's a sweet ride. Your buddy's not messing around. Send me the deets. Done. Yo, Speedy, I've been doing some digging on Jasmine's crew. And? What you got? They ain't big time, but they ain't small time either. We need to know who's putting up the cash for the Lakeshore Grand. But you should just focus on your game. And let me worry about the rest. I'm calling all units. We have a 2440 in our sights. You're listening to Dip Ford's Late Lake on KRS-FM, the number one station in the lake. That was KM with their new single, Tots Eclectic. Now I'm joined by Merrill Hopeful, Holden Parker III. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Simon. Dip. Oh, no, thank you. Not with my cholesterol. Right. So, let's start with the news that Mayor Stevenson's been handing out city contracts to her nearest and dearest friends. Has she? Well, someone should speak out against that, huh? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> someone who's running against her in the upcoming election? Well, yes. You should get them on the show, Simon. Dip. Dip. Oh, go on then. I've got a box of crackers somewhere. Hmm. Let's take some calls. Aventador's right where it should be. And faster than I could have done it. It's nice to be getting back to work again after, well, you know, customers coming back, and you're a big part of it. It's the least I can do. Hey, the past is a pass. Deep. You should print that on some t-shirts. And get
give them away free with oil changes. Hmm. Huh. Later. So, I'm still unclear. Okay, how's the kid gonna get the car back? I'm hearing Yaz never backs down from a challenge. Apparently, she's pretty stubborn. Probably why we got along. I mean, used to. We just have to catch her at the perfect moment. Put her reputation on the line. Yeah, well, whatever she does, remember, don't bring the heat down on the garage. I like to think of this plan as a fluid plan. As in... It's fluid? Ah, now you're getting it! Hand on the center console with the pistol. Tinted black, got the window right. Hey, Speedy. Grab a pen and paper. Uh, I kind of have my hands full. Doing what? Juggling knives. Oh, for real? You never said you had circus skills? <laughs> I'm driving. Oh, snap. Then just remember everything I'm about to drop on you exactly, okay? High stakes events are a big buy in, but a bigger reward. But come with big risks. Head to head events are you against another racer. Show them the whites of your eyes. Marathons use the whole city. Lakeshore's your playground. Then there's winner takes all and endurance. To the death. Wait, what? To the what? Just checking your listening. But basic is lots of events, lots of ways to make money. Go do some. And a little tip from my three years of clown college. Always leave them wanting more. You went to clown college? Boom! How else do you think I can get 20 people in one car? They call me F-L-A-C-K-O and don't play no... You see out here, street style, it's everything. Old fashioned and new fashioned. It's all about the love for passion. We're gonna paint this whole city black and burn. You say it pays the cost to be the boss, right? Let's show them who's in charge. It's the takeover. Check it out, check it out, listen up. Next up is the test to see who's the best. Let's see who got the whole city on lock. Rev up, gear up, burn out, let's go! That's how you do it. See, I was rooting for you too, man. You made me proud. Yeah. Uh, hey, um, I heard you help people out. From time to time. Can you get to me now? Absolutely. Hang tight. Hey, Tess. So, I heard the community have been setting challenges for each other. I'm listening. You beat it, they'll pay out. For real? That sounds too easy. Okay. Then I expect to be rolling around on a bed of C notes at the end of every day. Hey, Boost. Heard you, uh, needed a boost? <sighs> Original. Can you get me out of here fast? It's what I do. <sighs> Thanks. I needed that. Don't like trouble. Yeah. You and me both. You cool? Yeah. So, look, I'm not gonna lie. You seem a little shy. Doesn't that go against street racing? Dunno, uh, does it? Yeah. Usually after being chased by the cops, the adrenaline is pumping and people generally don't stop talking. So, what got you into it? Saw this anime when I was a kid, really stuck with me. Oh yeah? Like a cartoon? Cartoon? Anime is not a cartoon. Oh, 
Sorry. What was it about? It was set in the mountains in Japan. These two street racers work together until, bam! One of them betrays the other. After that, they battle it out to win the final race. Damn. Maybe I should check it out. Kind of want to know how it ends. You have no idea. I've never seen anything like it before. The colors, that art style, amazing. You seem pretty hyped about it. It was like someone turned on a switch in my brain. You never seen any anime? I didn't get to watch much growing up. Shame. I can recommend some stuff to you if you're interested. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. It's amazing, life-changing. It helped me, it helped me a lot. It really does sound like it had a positive impact on you. It did. Did you know that anime began in 1956? Nope. And did you know that 60% of the world's animation is anime? Not until now. <sighs> Thanks for the ride. That was some good, look good looking out. Anytime. <laughs> look, I'm gonna hit you up with some recommendations, all right? You know, you really don't have to. Most of my spare time is going into racing, so... <laughs> nah, nah, it's okay. I don't mind. I'll send you some wrecks. Trust me, you'll love them. <laughs> You're crazy if you think that Jeans is the best deep dish in town. Trust me when I tell you it is. There's a little spot over on the north side. Alfredo's had it. Not as good. Really? No way. Way. I guess I know what I'm doing for dinner tonight. Oh, sounds good. It's on me. It's Shimizu. Hey, how's it going? Saw you at the takeover last night. I think you could use some practice. Wow, straight to the point. Rydell's protégés always need to practice, and the garage has a reputation to maintain. I ain't about to let the garage's reputation down. Good. I've had a heads up on where the next takeover is tonight. Why don't you go get the jump start? Thanks, Shimizu. Eyes on that driver. Hey, Speedy. You heard of this guy, Alec? Yes, I have heard of that guy, Alec. Well, I found out he's the one who's putting up the cash for the Lakeshore Grand. And he's counting on Yaz to win. How fast is that car you built for her exactly? Fast. And she built it for me. Judging by your tone, I can see I touched a nerve. I'll leave you alone with your feelings and some sad boy hip-hop. Later, Speedy. I'm not gonna lie. It was great to have the garage back in a racing scene again. Feel like my old self. In the garage all day, working on the baddest cars Lakeshore has ever seen. Reminds me of this one time. I was ripping through downtown and tricked out DeLorean, and all of a sudden... A what? I'm gonna pretend you didn't just say that. Go kill it tonight! Whatever it is you're doing, it's working. Just wait until the scene gets a load of what this crew will be pulling up with. Your driving is revealing my genius. Your genius? I know it's not all me, but also, it kinda is. Keep it up, Speedy. Rydell's rides. Need a lift? Hey, it's Ossicia. You in the area? You need picking up? Yeah, fast. Drop me a pin. Hey, it's me. I can hear that, Rydell. I just want to tell you that I'm really proud of you. Aw, oh, shucks, boss. You're going to make me blush. <laughs> Seriously, kid. When we beat the people that did this to us, we'll know we did it the right way. Thank you. That means a lot. Just thought you should hear that from me. Catch you tomorrow. Shit! We just took a heavy hit! Um, 15? Like, like one five? In, a, in one studio apartment? That is a lot of litter. <laughs> Y'all, this is crazy. But anyway, what's good, Lakeshore? We need to talk about Stevenson's latest obsession, street racing. Seeing as she was caught doing 45 in a school zone, she really is in no position to judge. Maybe it's time for Lakeshore PD to... Thanks. 
Those cops aren't playing. Always happy to help out another racer. That's pretty noble. All right, where can I drop you? Safe house. You got it. So what did they pull you over for? Not so much pulled over, more trading paint, screeching tires. Oh, and cussing that would make my abuela blush. Oh, so, so you're on the run. Yeah, you're harboring a fugitive. So you better have a good lawyer, boy. They'll never take me alive. With you till the end, Sundance. Are you okay? You're staring at me, like crazy eyes. I know you. Sure, who's this here? Great to meet you. You hit your head back there? I follow you on Insta, Punk Funk Diva. I, I love your feed. Appreciate it. I am just trying to voice my true self, you know? Because it took me a long time to find it. Yeah, I see that. The moments you capture in Lakeshore, it's raw, joyful, human. Having to present as male in my community, that anxiety, it took everything I had just to leave the house. So now, I am living my life, following my passions, and helping others show theirs. We're here. I gotta say, I'm kinda stoked. A celebrity in my ride. Hey, Sundance, you did me a solid, so compare this to the end, right? Loyalty breeds loyalty. Sometimes. You're different. Straight up. I like that. Uh, thanks? It's a compliment. Hey, drop by anytime. Mi casa es tu casa. So, what's the deal with Yaz's ride? I get it's fast, but the kid's new ride is pretty impressive. My car has a lot of history. I tried to fix it with my old man, but after he passed, it just started collecting dust. Just didn't have the heart, right? Yeah. So Yaz hadn't even been here two months and she was all, boss, that junker out back, you fixing it up? And I just dodged the question. Too hard to deal. But two weeks later, I found these plans, drawings, and notes of everything she wanted to do. Restoring it. No, more than that. Rebuilding it. Car looked like... Like something your pops would love? So I told them that if they fixed her up, it was theirs. They became best friends that summer working on that car. Aw, sounds like an after-school special. Oh, I know it's pretty corny, but I get why the kid wants it back. Because I kind of do, too. I got a high-stakes event for you. It's a big buy-in but a bigger reward. Remember though, big rewards come with big risks. Don't forget, you're gonna need more than one ride. The Grand is the big leagues. Four races, four cars. So, no harm collecting now. Yo, metting out for a bit. Picking up lunch with my pops out in the east-west corridor. Grabbing some killer dumplings, then eating them back at his place. For real? Dumplings sound delicious right now. Oh! oh. I'll leave some in the fridge for you back at the garage if you get hungry. On me. It's the least I could do. It really is the least you could do. Mm-hmm. You know what, Speedy. Peace! So, you grew up in Cyril Heights? Mom died young, dad raised me. Same. I pretty much grew up in the garage, you know? Yeah, nightclubs for me. You never got tired of this place? I wouldn't say never. This garage is family, though. If we keep putting in the work, I really do believe it will come back stronger than ever. Oh, y you know what? I just, yeah, I've got somewhere else I need to be. Yo, how's my golden goose? Do you know how demeaning that is? Thoroughbred? Not better. Feels like I'm just here to make you money. Oh, well, speaking of that, there's a big event today. You win, you win big. You can win a... Wait for it. The suspense is killing me. A car. Oh, shit. 
That could actually come in handy. See? I don't disappoint. This time. Oh, I forgot. There's a catch. <laughs> of course there is. Nothing major. Just a bigger buy-in than usual. How much bigger? A lot. So good luck with that. Peace. <laughs> You remember when I said I had some work I could throw your way? Yeah, yeah. You got something for me? Sure do. I got a McLaren P1 that needs collecting and dropping off. You game? What? Are you kidding me? Who wouldn't want to drive one of those? Well, today's your lucky day. Dropping you the location. On it. Yo, Tess. What? The cops were on me immediately. What? Weird. Oh, gotta go. My order's up. Not sure how much more gas we have left in the tank here. We're joining the chase team. I did what I could, considering the heat back there. What the hell happened? Oh, yeah, that! This drifter I know wanted a double for some PR stunts he's planning. I thought you'd be perfect for it! And the cops? I think they were background. Felt like the real thing, huh? No, what are you t I I'm pretty sure that was the real thing. Nah, it was all for show, baby! CGI, SFX, you know! Good job! I'll hit you up with another soon. <laughs> Is that the knucklehead racer we're after? We're two days out from the qualifier. You think the kid's gonna be ready? We're looking good, but so is Yaz and her crew. Word is they're investing heavy into their rides. I'll make sure we're able to keep up. Let me know if I can help. Maybe get the kids some more paying gigs. keeps cracking down, we might need some more ways to earn cash. Look, I told you before, no one is going to pay to watch Garage Cam. We have a Garage Cam? Am I on it? No, I mean, never mind. You got a job for me? I got a Mazda RX-7 that needs delivery. Sending you a pen now. Mazda dropped off. Gotta say, I was sad to see it go. Already? Drive like that in the Grand and the car is yours. Hey, don't jinx it. No, you're good. <laughs> you're even impressing Tess and she's, well, you know, a lot. She most definitely is. Oh, the idea you had earlier about more publicity for the garage? What idea? Hmm, mm -hmm. maybe there's something in that garage can. Me under the hood, lube and a, a... For the love of Mike, stop. I wonder if HotRides.com is taken. Do not Google that. Yo! You down to take a Bugatti out? The day I turn that down, you know I've been body snatched. A buddy of mine? Valet at that fancy new bacon on everything place? Well, he wanted to see how it handled. What, and just left it? He got spooked or something. Anyway, dropping the pin. Got it. Anything else? Pick me up some tackles when you're done. <laughs> Yo, Speedy, you got the car? 
Yeah, yeah, and guess what else? My order from Taco Chance on me? No, the cops are on my tail. Mm, talk about bad luck. Better focus then. This is starting to feel like more than bad luck. AWD is on the scene. Don't think we can hold out much longer here. All units, per blast scene entering two point view. Turn over every stone in this part of town to find this punk. The valet called, said the car was in more or less perfect condition. Now that's what I'm talking about. Great work. Good. I'm glad they can rest easy now. Hopefully. He was worried he might need to look for another valet job, which would be hard, because he don't have a license. Yeah, that's really sad. Listen, Tess, why is there always heat on me straight off the bat? Well, this one might have been reported as stolen. And you didn't think to tell me that. How many of these have we done now? That's kind of on you. Are all these deliveries going to be like this? Speedy, you got to have faith. And yeah, probably. Speedy! Hi, Tess. Got another pickup and drop off for you. Skyline GTR. Ooh, always wanted to drive one of these. What's the story? Ooh, revenge. And? My guy wants his wife's car moved. Something about lingerie and intern, cheaters never prosper. I don't know, I stopped listening. So no cops? No cops. Dropping a pin for you now. Are those sirens? No, no. It's a new death metal band I'm into. Ooh, edgy. I got the cops on me again. What the hell? Then lose them. You're a pro by now, right? We've got very little fight left in us, folks. Don't let this punk lose us. Roadblock deployed. Purpose gone. Crap! That suspect just lost us at Douglas Park. I aim to shut this perp down today. Hey, you're getting good at this. Nice driving. That was not an easy one. I hope this guy got a prenup. Looks like revenge is a dish best served by someone else. Come on, Tess. You can do better than that. Want to explain that one? Dunno. Maybe the wife called it in? I didn't ask. Client confidentiality and all that. All right. A thousand percent. And your employees are on a need to know, huh? Exactly. Well, here's the thing. I need to know. Uh, sorry, going through a tunnel, can't... Here, break it up. Beep. Tess? Tess. Sounds like Yaz's crew is counting on her to win the grand and put Alex's prize money right back in his pocket. She must be feeling the pressure. Oh, she's trying to impress the wrong people. Her crew doesn't care about her. They just want the money. Money? I see no problem with that. Tess. My kid. My kid. How you feeling about tomorrow night, Speedy? First qualifier, yes, the car. What's gonna happen on the finale of Dance Pugs? I'm feeling pretty good. Who do you think's gonna win? Me. On Dance Pugs? Tess. Kidding. Just stay focused out there. The early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. Am I the mouse or the worm? You know what? I can't. Never mind. Saw it in a fortune cookie. Just be ready. Expect Yaz to pull something tonight. Oh, I'm ready. Believe. Ooh, I can feel the tension building. Mm, this is going to be great. Later, Speedy. Kid, whatever happens with Jasmine tonight, let's just show them what this garage is made of. Da 
got a little present. Check your glove compartment. What's this? Baby powder. Honestly, I'm afraid to ask. Trust me, kid. Make sure you apply it liberally before the race. These things can get intense. That means sweat. Okay, better to be safe and dry than sorry and sweaty. Speaking of which, I'm getting nervous. Better go powder up. Later, kid. Time to show her up. Wait, what is she doing? Looks like she's racing, but not in her car. I mean, your car. I mean... Why? Why swap cars? My guess? It's her chance to size you up without risking her ride. Don't let her throw you. Go kill it, Speedy! Going to get that car. Yaz never backs down from a challenge, right? Hey, yo, Yaz! What's up? Long time. Yo, is that my car? Yeah! The one you stole the same night you ripped off the garage? <laughs> Damn! Uh, I know you're not coming at me right now. Rydell trusted you. Yeah? Well, I never asked him to. I never needed any of that fake father shit. I can handle myself. <laughs> this is great. That right. Well, let's see it. Me and you race right now. Winner gets the car. Yeah, let's race for pinks. Pinks? What is this, the 50s? Tess, stop filming. Are you kidding me? Two long lost friends turned rivals, throwing it down in the underground over some daddy drama. A stolen car. Next thing you know, this guy takes off his shirt. It goes to blow someone out of tunes this shit and. Don't post that. It's a live stream. You know what, Pinks? I'm feeling a little generous. Charitable. You make it to the finals, you're on. Winner gets the car. <laughs> if you make it. Still two qualifiers left. It's cool. I waited two years. What's a few more weeks? Back out now. No need to thank me. Rydell. Shit. I know that look. How bad was it? We came in first. Yes, it's that baby powder. Huh? Oh, I forgot the best part. You'll never guess who got Yaz to throw down for the car. The kid? Speedy challenged her to put the car on the line. It's ours if we beat her in the grand. Huh. No shit. She's rattled, boss. Oh, 
all units, this is dispatch. Be advised, extra units will be out on the streets today. Exactly what we need, some backup. Hey, Speedy. How's it going? All good. Looking forward to getting out there again. Hey, that's what I like to hear. So, on that. There's some big money events this week if you've got your A-spec car up to scratch. I love big money. Who doesn't? And you're gonna need more than one ride. The Grand is the big leagues. Four races, four cars. So, no harm collecting now. Collect more whips? Oh, I can do that, believe. Oh, look at my little Speedy. I love this confidence side of you. But also, less talking and more driving very fast. You really do have a way with words, Tess. Stay safe out there. Oh, and don't forget after the qualifier last night, cops are out in force. Here I go. You watch my post of the kid throwing down over the car? Yeah, I created a profile for the garage so I can watch it. Rydell's Rides 1. Somebody else already had Rydell's Rides? No, why? What's with the number one? Because uh, we're number one. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I guess that works. Anyway, so what did you think? Jasmine and the kid beefing over the car. Dope, right? Yeah, dope. Hey, kid. Listen, Rydell, about that video. Is that really what Jasmine thinks of me? Fake father shit? That this whole thing was an act? I don't know, but it's not what I think, okay? Okay, kid. I hope not. Of course. Look, Rydell, you get any more links, don't watch them. And if you do, trust me, never read the comments. Got it. Let's not give her the satisfaction. We ain't about to let her beat the garage, right? Damn straight. Good. You keep doing what you're doing. Remember, pimp it. Don't scrimp it. You got it, Rydell. Yaz won't know what hit her. Later, kid. Rydell's rides. You need a lift? Hey, it's Harlow. I had a run-in with the Lakeshore's finest. Had to ditch my ride. Can you hurry? Send me your deets. This place is bullshit. Do I look as shook up as I feel? Like, let's, let's see what we can do. Let's try to get you to that safe house without alerting the cops. You really do know how to drive, huh? Can I quote you on my Yelp profile? Get me home first, and then we'll talk. That's a pretty nice part of town. I was surprised you got pulled over. It is, and I didn't. They ran me off the road before I knew what was happening. What'd they run you off the road for? <laughs> Aside from racial profiling, nothing. Fact is, they don't want folks like us in the penthouses. Look. I'm sorry that happened, but do you have a place there? Because I could drop you off. Not yet. Just take me to my safe house. I'm looking at that new apartment complex they built in that old paper mill. Was looking. Ugh. I don't know. You've had a change of heart? Yeah. Maybe. Screw it. I'm not gonna let some pumped up double meathead malice keep me from achieving my dreams. Sad, though. I really thought it would be different with a strong woman in City Hall, but nothing's changed. It's still just ignorance running the show. Can't thank you enough for today. It means a lot. Yeah, I'm glad I could help. And you did, by listening. I wish more people would just shut up and do that. Anyway, my place is your place. Use it wisely. Take care, Harlow. Can you believe this? The mayor's speech about the race, the cops coming down harder, it's... It's violating the Constitution is what it is. Breaking one of those amendments thingies. Uh-huh. Which one? The right to go, like, really, really, really fast. Whatever, I failed civics. We keep outrunning the cops. It only helps with our rep. Not all rep is good rep. But if it seems to be helping the garage, I'll take it. Hey, what's up? What's up? 
that video of you throwing down with Yaz after the first qualifier. That's what's up. Seriously? Oh, uh, you should peep my DMs. Everyone is giving you serious props for challenging her. Just don't let it go to your head, all right? I'll try. Good. But I want you to turn your back on this racing stuff and start doing battle rap. Tess, I'm, I'm so glad I made this social account. I found this guy. He does viral video blogs called Vlogs. In this one, he's driving along the highway and he sees a sign that says, Whoa, works ahead. And then he turns to the camera and says, Yeah, I sure hope it does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe unplug the Soshmeads and, I don't know, crazy idea, run the garage for a while? You seen the squirrel on water skis? I've created a monster. So, you know if Jasmine has any tricks up her sleeve to beat us in the next qualifier? Maybe. We need to know more about the crew she hangs with, this Alec guy especially. Oh, I'm gonna go all mystery machine out here. Mystery machine? <laughs> yeah, okay, Speedy. Let's pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. Peace! This little drama with Speedy and Yas is getting crazy. You know shit's real when the reaction videos got reaction videos. And those reaction videos get remixed. Yeah, I just wish it hadn't come to this. Our laundry out in the open. Cause they're like family and stuff? Maybe you could pretend Yaz doesn't exist. My dad did that through most of my teenage years. Trust me, it works. Did that hurt you? Hmm, I should call my dad. Yo, I'm hearing the cops are out in force today. Watch yourself. Yeah, it just heard over the scanner. We need to be putting money in the bank, not LPD's deep dish fund. Last time I checked, I was putting money in the bank. Look at my little Speedy. I love this confident side of you. But also, less talking and more driving very fast. You really do have a way with words, Tess. I got an ultimate merc for you to deliver. You free? Woo! The Mercedes AMG GT? Am I right? Of course I'm right. You got it. And another chance to show the lake what this garage is all about. Hit me up with the location and I'll start turning some heads. Done. Oh, and don't forget I'm ordering in tonight. Hey, I dropped the Mercedes off. Yeah, customer was stoked. Great work deserves great food. So deep dish of noodles. Oh, maybe that new place. Balama Ramen? Holden Parker the Third's place? You know what they serve there, right? Rich spicy noodles and hearty miso broth? All topped off with low-fat, high-protein choice cuts of llama. Oh, right. Maybe not then. Later, kid. Okay. Okay. Bye, Rydell. Rydell's Rides. Need a lift? Yo, can you pick me up? Cops ran me off the road. Hey, I need to tell you something. Go for it, but I swear if this is about nooks again. I've been checking out that video site and some of the comments. Wait, 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 Rydell. What did I say about the comments? No comments, no assholes. So there's this racer, she's all like, you think Jasmine's really stole that car she's driving? And it gets juicy, lots of stuff about the heights. Scrolling, oh yeah. Rydell, Rydell, hey, hey, Rydell. I love you, but I don't have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 this is a good bit. 
Semper 569 throws a curveball. Have you seen Mike's new Lambo? He's picked it up so it spits fire. Fire, right? It did. Nerves a wheel is like, ha ha ha. Mike is an idiot. <laughs> hey, kid. Did I lose you? Can you hear me? Kid? What's up? Cha cha, okay. right? Uh huh, yeah. Yo, you gotta get me off the streets and get me to my safe house. Fast. You got it. <laughs> Keeping a low profile. You handle yourself, I'll give you that. Appreciate the endorsement. So I was scared the cops in this town have stepped up their game. Like they're on some kind of mission. Oh? What do you mean? Part of some campaign the mayor is running. Yeah. She doesn't seem to be making many friends around the lake, does she? Power always corrupts. Mark my words, one day those at the bottom are gonna eat those at the top. Yeah. I mean, I prefer my meals with a little more moral fiber. <laughs> Better keep that sense of humor. Cause when shit goes down... We got 5 -0. Turn up the heat, team! Gonna stop him. Undercovers here. This will soon be over, dispatch. Dispatch, we can see the target below. Join the pursuit. Yeah, this is Mark. Lights are still on us. Not sure how much longer we can follow. This chase is taking the scenic route, team. All that jump. You better keep that sense of humor. When shit goes down, you better be ready. You seem pretty passionate about this. So should you. This affects all of us, you know. If we keep sticking our heads in the sand, nothing changes. This the place, huh? My haven away from all the noise out there. I bet that's useful. You ever need somewhere to go, I got you. We gotta look out for each other, you feel me? For sure. Oh yeah, stay safe. See you out on the roads. You know it. Peace. All right, y'all. Stop what you're doing. Drop everything. This is not a drill. It is our 100th episode. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Listen, y'all, this is progress. And speaking of progress, it's the mayor's favorite buzzword lately. So let's talk about that, shall we? Progress in this case is hardly progressive. The mayor says it's urban renewal, but let's really call this what it is. It's urban removal. You're making things worse for the people who voted for you, sis. Pricing these hardworking folks out of their cities is trash. And you're replacing diverse, exciting stores and restaurants with greedy corporations. Look, the last thing the city needs is another brand name coffee shop. Trust me, okay? It's time to get out of the pocket of big business and big developers and really think about everyday people. If not for me, at least do it for the better tasting coffee. We're tired. Speaking of coffee, too much Joe giving you the jitters? Then why not come down with the world's most comfortable mattress? Ferrari delivered, boss. Yeah, the customer was over the moon. Do you have a minute to talk? Sounds ominous. No, I mean... Talk like Tess about you and yeah, it's got me thinking. About what? I've had a lot of sleepless nights over what happened. What I said, what yeah said. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. Not you, I, I mean just everything. Yeah, I wasn't kind to her. And that's something I have to live with. But I'm glad I still have you. Always. Well, as long as you keep sending me these jobs. Car upgrades don't pay for themselves. Ha! I always knew you had a mercenary streak. Later. So, I never finished that story. So, I was speeding, right? And whoop whoop, cop car shows up. And he's screaming on the speaker thingy. Stop the car, man! But between my sweet muffler and the music and the helicopter, it's impossible for me to hear him, right? Then I roll down my window and start shouting while driving one-handed. It wasn't me. 
was, though. Are you sure I need to hear this? And that's the last time I ever drove. Hey, can you take me to Ricky's Ribs? My order's ready. Damn it, Tess. What now, Tess? What, no hello? Hello. You want to do another pickup job? It's helping me pay for the car. Why not? Good. This one's a doozy. It's a bruiser. So, if you get any cops on your tail, it shouldn't be a problem. If? If implies there's a chance it might not happen. Ugh! Oh, just shook us hard! Okay, Tess, I got the car. Great! Looking into my crystal ball, I can see you're being chased by the cops. Lose them, then hit me up! AWD is the first vehicle on the scene. You know, Tess, these are getting tougher. Well, the owner wanted to see how it handled under pressure from the LPD. And what if I failed? He built it so you could bounce those guys around. You know, like bumper cars. Bumper cars? This ain't the fun fair, Tess. Oh, thank God, I hated the fun fair. You know those coconuts are actually glued into place, right? Do you even care about me? Like, do you even care about my well-being? Of course! Who else is gonna keep me in hair dye and gibberitos? Later, Tess. Did you know there's more bacteria on a steering wheel than on a toilet seat? Don't you got somewhere else to be? Cause I got work to do. In this environment, information like that is a public service. You should get some wet wipes up in here. Hey, you. I got some more details on Alec. He's not a very good guy. Tell me something I don't know. First, though, I have a big mid-season cliffhanger. Turns out, he used to race. Was really good. Won a few events under the name Lil A. Yaz didn't say anything. Go figure. But Lil gave it all up 10 years ago tonight. Well, hold on, hold on. 10 years ago? How old is he? It gets wilder. He quit after he took on the Lakeshore champ in one big race. Risked it all, lost it all, and never raced again. Guess who the champ was? Guess! Rydell! Wait, what? Seriously? Nah, can you imagine? <laughs> Alec is actually Rydell's arch nemesis, sitting in his lair, plotting from the beginning. <laughs> Tess, jeez. He's just some low-life ex-racer who never really made it pay, and now he's into some shady shit. Lil A. <laughs> you are so gullible. Peace. So Alec and those kids from the Heights ain't doing things the right way, huh? Big surprise. I know, right? Getting kind of fun now. Wonder if Alec wears an eye patch. Oh, I'm serious. Do I not sound serious? Eye patches are hardcore. Tess, I mean it. Keep the kid out of it. I already lost Yas. I don't want to lose anybody else. Oh, Mr. Wright? Did we just have a moment? Hey! I'm sorry. Uh, okay. What for? He was looking so cute and needy, just sitting there. Who was? Rydell? Wait, did you get him a puppy? Worse. I made him a Reddit profile. What have you done? You know what, kid? Running the numbers this week. We're making some serious profit. The more the mayor talks about racing, the more the city wants to race again. 
and the more the word gets out about the garage. New clients have been calling all week. Also, you hear that? Me neither. No tests. I might actually get some work done for a change. Hey! Hey. Good work this week, Speedy. You set us up nicely for the qualify. Was there ever any doubt? Well, keep this up, my little gearhead, and the grand is as good as ours. Ours, huh? You know the secret to your success is me. Betting over stupid drama, that's what's up. <laughs> My post of you and Yaz beefing is blowing up. I am pulling in likes. I am pulling in subs. I am pulling in stacks. <laughs> you betting on me? Well, not just you. I never bet on just one horse. Hold up. You betting against me? Oh, don't get all sensitive, Speedy. I know you got what it takes to win this whole thing. But what's the harm in throwing down on some other racers? If you win, we make money. If you lose, we still make money, huh? You got me? Yeah, I got you. But who's really running these books? Oh, I like the way you think. That Alec guy who set up the race? Same guy taking the bets. Which means he'll do anything to come out on top. What are we gonna do about that? Like I told Rydell, I am here to win. Whew. I felt that. Good. This is good. I got some ideas on how we can get some more of that, so get yourself an Italian beef and focus up. I'll hit you up later. Speedy smashed it! Wasn't even close. That's how we do. Nothing like crossing the line in first. Counting the money after ain't bad either. That too. I'm glad Yaz bowed out on this one. This whole revenge thing, I don't know. Not what racing's about. At least it shouldn't be. I hear ya. I mean, I don't agree, but I hear ya. You're listening to KRS-FM News Across the Lake. As the election race heats up, Mayor Stevenson spoke to the press outside the Capitol where she doubled down on her commitment to law and order. I have fought too hard for this city to stand back and allow illegal gambling to take root in our communities. That is why the LPD is upping the ante. We're going all in on measures that you can bet will slash response times and double down on stopping crime. You can believe me when I say, I am not bluffing. Happy to gamble with people's lives by pricing them out of their neighborhoods though, right? Rydell's Rides, need a lift? Ciao, I hear you get people out of trouble. It's something I do from time to time. You need an assist? I do. Cool. Let me know where you're at, and I'll head over. Grazie. Dropping a pin now. Hey, how you doing? I'll be better when the Spiri are off my tail. Consider it done. <laughs> I think I have a visual on that first set. 
you've done this before? Once or twice. What happened? Was that a new installation by a local artist who specializes in guerrilla art? Guerrilla art? She takes existing corporate sponsored artwork and gives it her total personality. Gusto? Personal touch. Wow. Well, I bet those corporations love that. They do. So do the Sbirri when she does the same to their vehicles. <laughs> so, uh, you into art? I'm into capturing young women's experiences of nature. Whatever expression that involves. Why the cause? Somebody has to document this work before it's torn down and replaced by una schifezza vapida. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it would be a shame to see it replaced by a uh, Yeah. Crap. Imagine if your work was taken away from you before the world had a chance to appreciate it. You forget Yas yeah, stole my car? So much drama has happened, darling. I can't keep up. That's it. You know, if you're interested, you should check out what I've posted today. Definitely. It was a pleasure to hang. Ciao, darling. Jeez, Vidal? Who knew car parts cost this much? I'm running out of vital organs to donate. Yeah, building a prime ride doesn't come cheap. I always got jobs to do if the kid needs some easy money. No offense, but we need stuff with big payouts. Mm, I find big payout kind of work usually has a catch. No risk. No reward! Uh-huh. Yo, Speedy. I'm looking at the numbers. We need some serious cash before this qualifier. We'll make it. We need to up the stakes a little. Why do I get the feeling Rydell won't want to know about this? Relax, Speedy. I'm not gonna get my golden goose into any trouble. Not this close to the grand. If you say so. I'll hit you up when I got something. Got my boy Kevin in here today. Blonde hair Kevin? Box hair Kevin. He got the one mean looking eye? No, 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 that's mean mugging Kevin. You know a lot of Kevins. Yeah, Kevin was telling me about this garage near him that got raided by the cops. They just shut the shit down. No questions, just gone. That's probably some punk ass grease pit full of scrubs who ratted on each other after pulling some shady shit. That ain't us. Yeah, you're right. We got a possum. Not a rat. Rydell's Rides. Need a lift? This is Anichka. You will save me from the bastard cops, yes? I can do that. Drop me a pin. Hi. Don't worry, I got this. Your confidence is inspiring, but we will see. You're not the first racer who's been targeted. We live in dark times. What happened? The eternal struggle between self-expression and the nanny state. Petty bullshit. I feel you. They're really trying to get us. Dispatch, this pump needs stopping. Now that's over, we can continue. I feel you. Where can I take you? My safe house. No problem. The cops are really coming down hard. Yeah, because Mayor Stevenson has her dogs on a short leash. Yap, yap, yap. Shoo, shoo, tiresome puppies. Ah, you don't like Stevenson, huh? As the funny girl says, maybe it's time for Lakeshore PD to take a look at the corrupt criminals running in these streets, not the ones driving fast on them. you lived here? All my life. Do you know what I love about Lakeshore? She's vibrant, authentic, always surprising. The city? The city, yes, but this vitality is as life is not stones and bricks. She comes alive through her people, through our community. I like that. I do not say it to be cute or nice, I say it because it is the truth. The police do not find strength in community. Their strength comes through fear, and fear is always weaker. Why were the cops chasing me? 
<laughs> Mayor Stevenson thinks she's an icon, the beating heart of Lakeshore. She gave us a billboard. I painted it red. <laughs> That's pretty bold. They tried to catch me, but I evaded them. So now I'm infamous. Ah, and every fat head with the badge wants to deliver you on a plate. If she tries to make a meal of me, I will stick in her throat. This the place? Yes, my garage. With all its own weirdly incredible smells. You're welcome here too. Thanks, Anetchka. We are each other's community now, but do not expect me to go easy on you. There are still races to win. Nossa dobra. Yo, kid, you hear the mayor on the radio? You know it was the same shit back in the day? The city has always been cracking down on us. Sure, some street racers have side hustles that are bad for the city, but most of us do it because this is an art, okay? The city is our canvas, and painting all of us with the same brush, it ain't right. Even racers from the Heights? Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. But hey, we're fixing our own lives here, aren't we? We don't need Mayor Stevenson to come in here fixing it her way. No, for sure. Remember that, kid, and you'll do all right out there. Ride is with the customer. Yep, they call spectacular driving. They were really impressed. So is that all you got for me? No social media fails or snack requests? Hey, I'm not that predictable. So you don't want me to swing past pizza by Alfredo and grab you a pie? Hawaiian. But don't put no pineapple on it now. Hold the pineapple. Never change, Rydell. Hey, it's me. Just checking in. You need anything? Pep talk? Ooh, ooh, I saw this great movie last night. It's about this girl from a different dimension who lands in our dimension, and she has special powers, and the government wants the special powers, too. Spoiler alert. They're lizard people. Guess I can cross that one off my watch list now. See? You don't have time to watch these things anyway, so I'm doing my civic duty. Oh, oh, snap. Gotta go. Munchies are here. Lizard people. <laughs> well, that's bullshit. Right? Right. Hey, kid. Hey, Rydell. Tess told me how you're doing out there. Good things, I hope. Oh, it's Tess, so you know I gotta work out what code she's speaking this week. I hear that. You know what I'm gonna say, right? Uh, pimp it, don't scrimp it? See? It's catching on. <laughs> well, it is in my head now, so maybe it's got something. Hey, so the spins are playing tonight. You want to catch the game when you get back to the garage? As long as I don't hear you complain about him not hitting Duncan in the post, I'm in. I swear. Okay? See you soon. Just think. This time a couple of weeks back, we almost had to shut this place down. Now I'm having to turn folks away. Garage ain't been this busy in years. Sure wish my pops was here to see this. Hey kid, if you wrap up early, I'll be over Deering's watching the spins lose again. I'm telling you, I got a better jump shot than half these bums. Maybe you should throw on the old short shorts and high socks and get out on the court with them. Ha <laughs> ha. If the garage business don't work out, maybe I will. I'll see you tomorrow, kid. Calling all units. We have a 2440 in front of us. Yo, what up? It's Rocky. Uh, 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 hey. Wow. Uh, how you doing? Oh, good. Road on the street is you a contender for the grand now. I'm working toward it. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Yo, I'm dropping you my location. Come pick me up. We go for a spin in the bins and all that. Head in there now.
Show me what you got. Man, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's not every day you're sitting next to ASAP Rocky. I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> People don't get to know that I'm human just like them. I go through struggles just like them. I go through frustrations and everything. As far as my accolades and accomplishments go, it's, it wasn't easy, you know? And um, like I said, I'm just as normal as everyone else when it comes to that matter. People just assume once you are a superstardom that kind of don't bleed or, you know, or shit or sleep or anything, but uh, for me, it's more so just uh, making it, just showing people that we're all relatable in the same sense, that we all are the same in the same sense, because I deal with everyday struggles just like anybody else. Most of the time, a common person only correlates struggle to economic problems or, you know, financial problems, but... Everybody has problems, regardless of if it's economical or not. So, yeah. Yeah, man, right? The car is dope, Rocky. You ever think about racing? Yeah, I thought about it. I had to see what the comp was looking like first, though, you know? And? Let's see if you live up to the height. Oh, that I can do. But that's funny, because from what I see, it seemed like you spent all your time arguing with your former teammate. I don't really sound like a contender to me, dog. Oh, the stuff about the car? Look, it's complicated. It's always complicated. Real winners channel that shit, though, and perform when they need to. That ain't gonna be a problem. Yo, use that shit to your advantage, man. Focus up. Get right. I ain't gonna disappoint. Yo, you did that shit. That was mad. Yo, that gold about to look real good on you. <laughs> I did my best, all things considered. So, what got you into it? Well, I'm speaking to the youth. You know, I'm speaking to the youth, and I'm speaking to people of all different backgrounds. We all share the same thing, which is struggle. And for anybody struggling, I just want some words of encouragement. There's a lot of people where I come from who have a lot of capabilities and different backgrounds, but we never really exercise those tools or anything like that because we're so stuck in our situations or trying to live up to a facade that was, you know, put in front of us that we got to live up to and other people's expectations. I think all we strive to prosper is just creating your own path for your own destiny, but not going rogue and not giving up. So he's about to encourage me. You must have put in a lot of work over these years. Yeah, I think the hard work is key. Obviously, man, you know, it's all about not compromising. It's about fulfilling what you set out to do. As a collective, we just represent that. We try to embody that. How so? Well, ASAP, meaning always strive and prosper, it's not what you think. It's not as soon as possible. But we took a positive riff on and put a spin on something that meant quickly. But for us, it's everything but fast. It actually has more of a positive perspective. And it was some form of encouragement that promoted prosperity and ambition amongst the young brothers, especially in my neighborhood and my crew. We wanted to run with that. We needed something to look forward to. With all of the chaos and, you know, regular ups and downs of life and our circumstances. You seem pretty passionate about this. I want, I want people to know that, especially about me. I'm, I have insecurities. I have obstacles. I have ambitions. And I have failures, just like everybody else just like all of us. And the best part about life is waking up to be able to accomplish it again and do better. And that's just, that's it for me, man. You know, I just want to encourage people that who all share struggle or is sharing a struggle, even trying to accomplish anything, man. I just want to give them that ambition, man. Some words of encouragement. Always strive, always prosper.
Gotta say, it was real nice hanging with you, Rocky. Likewise. Always good to see what potential competition gonna be like. I hope I get a chance to race against you. Just put some racks on it. I'll catch you out there, player. See you at the starting line, huh? You know it. Peace. You're quiet today. Me? Hey, I'm not complaining. Everything's cool. Listen, I'm a... What, what? It's all right. Just nervous. Want some baby powder? Hey, kid. You know what's up with Tess? She seems less Tessie. It's kind of freaking me out. With Tess? Who knows? But she hasn't said anything to me. All right, well, look. If you do know that she's acting weird, let me know, okay? Tess is always acting weird. And that's exactly my point. But keep me posted. See you around the garage. You got it right now. You know, I was thinking, you should maybe ease up on the kid a little. Take some of the pressure off. What you mean? I just think we could all take a step back. You know, win or lose. It's really about the friends we made along the way, right? You can read myself a book. It's good, right? Look, it's good to keep the options open, stay adaptable. I just saw this doc about a fish that can turn into sand. It turns into sand. Literally. Mother Nature's teaching us, bro. Nope, you called me. Okay. Tess? Tess, you good? What? Yeah, no, uh, it's cool. Guess I'm just stressing about this qualifier. You got this, right? Yeah, you know it. Good to know. See you tomorrow. Sure thing, Tess. Hey, you sure you're all right? Probably some baggy or something. Okay. Okay. If you say so. You luck. No. Thanks, Rydell. Just gotta cross that finish line first. You still got that baby powder? Does a 1967 Mustang have a 289 cubic inch 2 VVA? That's what I'm talking about. Now remember, all over, and I mean all over. Yo! Seriously good news. Whatever happens out there tonight? We are made in the shade, my friend. What do you mean? Find me after the race. About to open some serious doors for this team. throwing down on you or Jasmine for the Lakeshore Grand. So how much are we putting down on me? <laughs> About that. Let me float you something. Where's Jasmine? Oh, hey! Hi. 
What are you doing? Oh, you made it to the finals. Guess you're finally ready to lose to me. This, this is what I'm talking about. People love in this drama, huh? <laughs> thanks to you, Pinks. Yes, thanks to me. But you know what's better than drama? A surprise ending. What if you didn't try to win, huh? What? I'm here to help bury the hatchet, you two. Check it. Alec wants to cut us all in on a deal to fix the final race. What's this bullshit? You think I'd throw in with her and her crew after what she did? Remember why you got into this. Stacks, right? Look around. The real money's in the gambling now. Who cares about winning the race? Besides, if one of you crosses that finish line first, your boss is gonna lose a lot of money on these bets. And you know better than me what he thinks of losing. You know, you better dip before I tell Alec about this shit you're trying to pull. Just the messenger, girl! You sure you know him? I ain't throwing shit. Shut up! That one, well. Never bet on just one horse, huh? Don't screw this up for us. Think about Rydell. Don't talk to me about Rydell. We're done. I told you how this works. I open doors and we make money. This was that door, bruh. This was that door. So that's how it went down last night, huh? Not sure I'm more disappointed than Tess of this whole scene. Hmm. Fixing the race. Not how it's supposed to be. It ain't right. But you got them worried, which means you're the contender. This ain't over. Calling all units, we will be increasing the amount of police vehicles out on the streets today. Go bag us some racers. Happy hunting. Hey, how you holding up with all this? All right. Like you said, I'm a contender. We'll find a way to make that buy-in for the Grand, with or without Tess. Damn right. I've been thinking about Jasmine. This Alec guy ain't the type to lose money. You think she'll stick to her guns or throw the race? Honestly, I have no idea. It all happened so fast. Gonna need a few to regroup. You and me both. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Appreciate it. I'll catch you back at the garage. Hey. Yes? Listen, the cops are serious about shutting down the Grand. They've already started making moves. Getting around ain't gonna be easy. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. Wait, why are you telling me this? Maybe I want your ass out of jail and in that final. Later. Hey, wait, what's going on with Alec? Yes? What are you doing here? Where's Rydell? He's out. I asked Alec about what Tess said. If he wanted me to throw the race. It's true. And what did you say? I told him no. And well, he wasn't about it. I thought he might come here next, and I couldn't let that happen to Rydell. Thanks, I guess. Guess Alec never gave a shit. Saw a big score and he took it. I know the feeling.
Listen, I wasn't part of what happened here two years ago. I just bragged to Alec about where I worked. <laughs> well? If that's true, then why did you ghost with our car? You had two years to make it right. What, come back here into open arms? You heard Rydell that night. He took me in when no one else would. Whatever. I don't give second chances, and I don't expect them. So now what? You know Alex's game. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to hit him where it hurts. Liberate his inventory. You interested? I could be. I'll call you. I'm still coming for that car. Good. Hey, kid. Let's bring her back. We will. About taking you in? And you didn't exactly back me up. I told him you'd been with me all night. <sighs> Wasn't enough. Wait, is this on me now? He listens to you. You were always his favorite. And what are we, grade schoolers? I always felt like whatever you did, he let it slide. That ain't true, Yaz. <laughs> it ain't. Whenever we argued, you always stayed out of it. I ain't coming between two freight trains about to collide. I needed someone to back me for once in my life. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. What, what about you? Still a little raw after the talk? Yeah, me too. Look, what I said at Rydell's about hitting back at Alec, I was serious. He's taken a lot from people in this city. People who are willing to pay to get their shit back. Pay to get their shit back? Stop questioning a good thing. I've already got someone lined up. I know where the car is. All you gotta do is return it. This ain't Robin Hood. It's never that easy, Yaz. <laughs> if you're as good as you say, it should be. <gasps> Damn, did you forget I was gonna whoop your ass before Tess went all Aaron Burr? <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. I'll be in touch with the location. Later, Little John. Little John... the rapper? So, you ready to liberate some cars? Hell yeah, let's do this. Alright, sending you a pin. Call me when you collect. Damn, can't believe it. All right, Yaz, I got it. I'll call you at the drop off. Got it. Going after this part too, team. This bench, we're getting our ass kicked here. AWD is here. Yo, just had word from the client. They're really happy we got that car back to them. And in great condition. Okay, good. That one was off. What do you mean? It was the same car I picked up for Tess. She told me some guy wanted to test out how tough it was. And you believed her? No, I mean, it was paying for the car, so I wasn't about to ask too many questions. So she was working for Alec? I hope not. I'll ask around. Good work anyway. Later. Last night sounded intense. I know you gotta get back out there now that you big time and all, but I'm gonna make sure I'm pulling my weight on this team too. When you get back, 
There's gonna be some smoke ribs and a root beer waiting for you. Yo, forgot to ask. Any word from Jasmine? She called to warn me about what the cops were up to. It was a weird first phone call after two years. She called you? What's her deal? Honestly? Who knows with Yaz? I thought I knew her, Rydell. Listen, don't be so hard on yourself. What kind of life is a life without trust? A life without a safety net? A life without hope? Are you reading that from your book? <laughs> yeah, this book has changed my life. Okay, Rydell. Catch you back at the garage. Sure thing. Catch you later. Hey, Rydell. You cool? Just thinking about the night that she left. Hey, that's not on you, Rydell. Yeah. Can't control what she did. But I'm responsible for what I did. Maybe it's not too late. It isn't. What we had, what we did together, doesn't just fade away. We can build it back. We've got strong foundations. So why did you get all deep? You ain't the only one reading that book, you know. Thanks for checking in, kid. Over there! That's that? You know what I realized? I still plug my tools into the bottom outlet because Jasmine always had her phone plugged into the top one. Huh. You heard any more from Yash? We spoke last night. Is she good? We'll see. We're working some angles. Let's see where it goes. Angles? Relax. We know what we're doing. I don't want you to go and... Rydell, you gotta trust us, okay? I know it's hard, but this is for the best. For all of us. All right, all right, all right. You're not kids anymore. Not sure we ever were, boss. It just feels like I'm out of the loop sometimes. That's on me. Look, everything you've done for me means a lot. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Maybe I don't tell you that enough. Okay, I hear you. Later, kid. 440 on our site. Car dropped off, boss. Good work. Thanks for keeping the garage a priority through all of this. Yeah, well, it's not just work. It's home. I'm proud of you for doing things the right way. Have I said that before? Uh, nuh-uh. Never. I would have remembered. Dinner's on me tonight. Hey, kid. Something weird just happened. Oh, no. Is the possum back? And did he bring his possum friends with him? We got an anonymous tip. Like, uh, meet me in the parking garage and come alone tip off? There's really nothing sketchy about that, Rydell. Oh, more like pick your car from this abandoned lot and come alone. What car? The Chevrolet Bel Air that got stolen. The night Yaz left? Yeah. Can you check it out? I got the Bel Air. It's definitely ours. Who called you? I don't know. They just said it was a friend who wanted to make things right. That's gotta be Yaz. Just drop it back here. Yaz, what's up? Found out the test is going all out to make sure we lose the Lakeshore Graham. All the sweeter when I beat her. <laughs> you mean when I beat her? No, you heard me right. Uh, keep telling yourself that. It might come true. So, what you got planned? Not sure yet. Waiting for some intel to come through. Intel? <laughs> what is this? Spy kids? Just wait for my call, okay? You sure you ain't gonna let me know by carrier pigeon? Not long now, kid. Almost at the finish line. Well, the start line. Gotta get to that one first. <laughs> 
Jokes, man. Jokes. I'm nervous as hell. Hey, Speedy. Tess. How's it going? You know, this Robin Hood thing you and Yaz have cooked up? Really admirable. If you're wanting me to stop, forget it. Actually, I'm encouraging you. See? Alex, pissed. Like, really pissed. Like vein in the forehead, lots of sweat, smoke out of the ears pissed. He's so pissed, he just handed me a blank check. Wants to make sure you don't win. And what? You called to glow? Oh, it ain't like that, Speedy. Wanted to thank you for getting Alex so riled up he told me to go on a shopping spree. Oh, okay. Does Alec know that all of his money's going to the latest kicks and a lifetime supply of lobster rolls? Ooh, have I touched a nerve? Nah, got bigger plans than that. Can't wait for you to see what I got my new friends. See you at the Grand. Is enough? I'm so glad you stuck around to work in this garage. My dad loved racing, I love racing, and now you love racing. It's just nice to know this place will always be in good hands. Alex just called. And? If I lose this race, I'm done. What'd he say? It wasn't really what he said, more how he said it. I never heard him talk like that before. It's okay, Yaz. He said he's been giving the cops info about the safe houses. I'm trying to put pressure on the scene. Seriously? What an asshole. <laughs> Hot I knew him. Don't be so hard on yourself. There's literally nowhere to turn for me. Really? Can't think of anyone you can trust. I don't know why I called. Yes? Hey, kid, you got time to pick up one last car? I got the location from our anonymous friend. No time like the present. Which one? The Aston Martin Vulcan. Seriously? I never thought we'd see that beauty again. Thought it would be long gone to a private collector. Yeah, me too, kid. Me too. Location sent. I'll call you after the drop-off. Just delivered the Aston. That's the last one, right? Yeah. I never expected her to do this. It really means a lot. I know, Rydell. It doesn't make up for everything, but... But it sure makes it easier to forgive. Now let's finish what we started. Sounds like a plan. Also, kid, I'm proud of you. I'll see you back at the garage. You can count on it. My ride's looking good, if I do say so myself. I like your chances. Even if you don't win back the old car, I'd say you built something pretty special yourself. You did the damn thing. Hey, kid. I don't know if I ever told you this, but if you feel that need, you know that need for it, Oh, uh, wait, what was it? The need for... Shit, I always forget this. Rydell, I got you. Don't worry. Hey, I even used some of that baby powder. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Rydell. Oh! Speed! Speed! The need for speed!
Yo. Looks like Alec replaced me already. Did I look that ridiculous? Yes, absolutely. They're dropping a fortune to stop us. What do we do if it works? I don't know. Put a crew together, save the world, race home, pop a cold one, talk about family, eat barbecue, do the same thing, only different, like eight, nine times. Let's show them how we do things in the lake. Mm -hmm. Hey, just in case. I need you to know I'm sorry. Like you said, I had two years to make it right, and I didn't. Yaz, listen. I'm still gonna take that car. Don't think them little tears are gonna let you off easy. Oh, tears? You know, you need to worry about running the race instead of running that mouth. All right, shut up! Shut up, shut up! This is it! Woo! Now check your phones for the starting line, huh? Now I'm gonna be real. 5-0 knows something's going down. They'll be out tonight. But that's not gonna stop you, right? Hey! It's time for the Lake Shore Grand! Woo! Corny. You know what? As long as it's one of us.
Why do you sound happy? Oh, did I give you the impression that I work for Alex? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you, Speedy? You never bet on just one horse. When I win, I win. When I lose, I still win. Learn from this, Jasmine. Loyalty's overrated. Nah. It's not. Yo, bro, can I get a ride? You earned it. Just go easy. She's got more kick than the last time you drove her. Kick? Huh. You know, Rydell would love to see all this work you've done on her. You think? I need someone to take my car back to the garage. Try to keep up. Yes, you weren't kidding. She's got more kick than a Carolina Reaper. Told you. What? See, what I could have done driving this thing. Crashed on the first corner. Did you forget what just happened? No, I saw you lose it a few times. Mm, only one of us lost it. Damn, that was cold. Too soon. Just go easy, okay? Please, I've waited two years. We are way past going easy. You're on. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You must have put in a lot of work over these years. Night and day. Shows. Still, can't believe you couldn't win the grand even in this. You ever gonna let me live this down? <laughs> Not a chance. This city holds a lot of memories. It's our city now. We finally made it. Raced our way into Lakeshore legend. We still got work to do. Harder at the top. Everybody wants to take you down. Believe me. I'd like to see him try when I'm driving this whip. Rydell's gonna be hyped when he sees her. Think he's gonna be okay with me turning up? Why wouldn't he be? Cause he's stubborn. Check the mirror lately? I ain't stubborn. Seriously? Remember that time at Deering's when you ordered the jumbo chili sub with all the trimmings? And? He said, girl, you won't finish all that. And your point? You ended up stuffing your face until... I threw up all over right now. And he said... Next time, order the salad. Easier to clean. <laughs> I miss him. 
He misses you too, yes. We'll see. You made a mistake. Own it. Talking mistakes? Yeah. What about, miss? Let's race for pinks! Ugh, God. You trying to ruin the moment? What, I'm the only one getting chewed out? Ain't much to say. Without her, I wouldn't have won the grand. So you replaced me? Now, Tess was not a Yaz replacement. For starters, she didn't know the difference between a spanner and a torque wrench. <laughs> I don't doubt that. She did know the difference between sweet potatoes and yams, though. There's a difference? You had no idea what her play was? I had my doubts. Honestly, though, only thing I cared about was beating you. Yeah, and I deserve that. But people like Pinks, they're only out for themselves. Maybe. But everyone deserves a second chance, right? An opportunity to change. Okay, okay. I'm getting the irony. Can't wait to see what you two did with the garage. <laughs> Was thinking about how Rydell would call me when he couldn't find Renchi. Funny, I caught him talking to Renchi last week. What was he saying? How come I always find you now? You're exactly where I put you. I told him you hit it on purpose just to mess with him. You know, I'm about to turn around. Yes, you better not run off with another one of my cars. Can't make no promises. Remember when we started out? Yeah, of course. <laughs> just a couple of gearheads with nothing to lose. We thought we were gonna win it all right off the bat. You thought we were gonna win it all. I had a handle on reality. <laughs> Maybe. Although I can't believe you made me do that jump. Could have been over before we even started. But the thrill, right? You can't bottle that. It's what we live for. That need for... Don't say it. But yeah, this is just the end of the beginning. No doubt. Besides, something's missing from the garage. What? the jasmine touch. Look who I found. Sounds pretty. Smells nice, too. Rydell, I'm... Compressor I'm... shot. Dude tried to fix it himself. I told him. Now I gotta undo what he did. Should've listened to you. Pain in the ass. <laughs> So how's the heights? <laughs> Overrated. You take the turbo out first? Since when do you do things by the book? Well, it's never too late to start. Well, all right. The lake better watch out. Street racing started in the street, right? So it's street. Hip hop is street. When you think about urban wear, which is skateboarding brands, which is called street wear, it's all from the hood. And it, and it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a urban metropolitan or like hood. It's just for racing, for hip hop. Oh, as far as the correlation in hip hop, street racing, the big rims and shit like that. Spinners. Spinners were made to try to cool down exhaust and all of that shit. We took it to hip hop in the early 2000s. All the ballers had spinners on their trucks and all of that shit, 24 inch rims. Even decking your car out. The car culture is really like a, essentially a street and hip hop culture. 
struggle. That's what everyone comes from. So hip hop started from struggle. It was people who would take their parents' records, right? And they knew that in the beginning of this record, it's 10 seconds that the drum is just looping. What they'll do is put that on the Serato, um, uh, uh, turntable and then they'll loop that 10 seconds and that should be. Then they'll take another record, put it on the other side of the turntable and that gives you your percussions and your hi-hats. And then they just take a microphone and rap. Hip hop was, the foundation is built off sampling initially, like essentially. And that's the whole, that's, that's what we do. So I think everything that goes into it, I think the struggle speaks out the best. And we all know that. It's, it's the struggle. Uh, everybody who wasn't like born with a silver spoon in their mouth, even those mother born with a silver spoon in their mouth, they always feel a need to show that they're worthy, that they need to show their parents, man, I'm not just no hedge fund baby. Like I, I got this. I know rich billionaire, born billionaire mother who own multi-million dollar businesses by themselves and there's not no Trump thing where the dad gave him only a 10 million dollar loan like what the f you know what I'm saying it's like people who do it themselves and I think that uh even if you have a silver spoon just keep going because if you if you stop bro you can't afford to stop no one can afford to stop because if you stop it's over and that's the truth and and, and for lack of better words and simple in the most simplest terms if you stop it's over we all share the same thing which is struggle and for anybody struggling i just want some words of encouragement asap meaning always strive and prosper it's not what you think it's not as soon as possible but we took a positive riff on and put a spin on something that meant quickly but for us it's everything but fast it actually has more of a positive perspective and it was some form of encouragement that promoted prosperity and ambition amongst the young brothers there's a lot of people where I come from who have a lot of capabilities and different backgrounds but we never really exercise those tools or anything like that because we are so stuck in our situations or trying to live up to a facade that was you know put in front of us that we got to live up to and other people's expectations I think Always strive to prosper is just creating your own path for your own destiny, but not going rogue and not giving up. It's always about the encouragement. I think the message for striving is just it's easy. It's because it's so easy to give up. It's so easy to give up. You could give up. You could start doing. You could give up and you could just stay at home or, you know, give up all aspirations. You could give up on life you could give up on your friends yourself your family i think prosperity is just what we all want in the long end and what we hope for and that's what we work towards because i think this phrase and this crew is supposed to show you that if you strive you shall prosper everybody has some type of support so i mean i don't think that it's wise to try to take on everything as an individual by yourself but you don't necessarily need a crew. It just worked out for me. We formed this brotherhood and this brothership because we don't have that where we from. You know, every time there's always an organization of guys from the urban community getting together, we labeled as a gang or some type of terrorist party or something like that. You know, we just wanted to do something positive. We're not saints, but uh, at the same time, we're not cold-blooded sinners. And it's really all about just getting your dreams out there, man. And I think that I'm... I'm an advocate for that. You know, I advocate for that. I think I'm a catalyst for change. I think I'm a catalyst for, you know, striving and prospering and doing it how you want to do it your way because everything about me is unorthodox, man. My style, the way I talk and everything, but it, I mean, it works. And I just want to encourage people to be them, whatever that may mean. And uh, whatever your goal is, is set to be, to try to accomplish that. That's the purpose of it. And I think that's the pursuit of happiness in life. People don't get to know that I'm human just like them. I go through struggles just like them. I go through frustrations and everything. As far as my accolades and accomplishments go, it's, it wasn't easy, you know? And um, like I said, I'm just as normal as everyone else when it comes to that matter. People just assume once you are superstardom that you kind of don't bleed or, you know, or shit or sleep or anything. But uh, for me, 
it's more so just uh making it just showing people that we're all relatable in the same sense that we all are the same in the same sense because I deal with everyday struggles just like anybody else most of the time a common person only correlates struggle to economic problems or you know financial problems but everybody has problems regardless of if it's economical or not so what would you do if you had the mindset that you have now and the knowledge that you've gained throughout the years and you could kind of like teleport back to your old self back in you know 2007 and whatnot I wouldn't change anything I think that those struggles is what got me here in the first place right and I don't think that my destiny was um, written in another way so I kind of feel like the purpose of everything happening is meant to happen in that sense as far as the keys to the game and what I will say is that every game every category every margin changes everything some things change back to its original state and some things change in hybrid to a whole nother state or you know the evolution keeps going with everything some things are in style in the 60s and it comes back in style in the early 2000s and so you know so on and so forth the, the game always changes I think the best thing to do is just try to adapt with that but still being yourself you know because there comes a, pl a time and place where I don't think a lot of people you know they, they forgot what it is to be an entertainer for the most part nowadays being an entertainer is more so being a clout chaser or being somebody for you know lack of better words somebody that's always in the public eye for no good reasons for the wrong all the wrong things you know for all the wrong reasons and uh stand true to it for instance i'll give you an example of what i mean by that because that was a vague statement nowadays tiktok tiktok is what every artist has to appeal to rapper singer pop artist you have to go viral with tiktok there's artists that don't even have a platform on tiktok and they're big you know such as myself i'm barely on it i, I check it out to you know for entertainment purposes like everyone else but I don't really utilize it for my career as I should be. Now, I'm not opposed to it, but people's music is changing nowadays and it's more appealing to the algorithm of TikTok. So, will it grab your attention in the first 15 seconds or would you swipe past it? Will it do this? Will it? All of those factors don't even matter to me, especially when I'm making music because I know the name of the game is to stay with the time and flow and new swagger and pace of things. Because it's always a radical change in whatever you do in any industry. But I'm going to stay true to myself. Because once all of the 6 9 and the clout chasing stuff is all said and done. And, you know, those guys can't do shows and this and that and this and that. That's the legacy artists who are there who knows the difference between changing time and adaptation. And that's the point I'm trying to make. For me, morally, I just want my son to be open-minded, creatively, everything, you know, personally, I just want him to be open-minded. I don't, Nobody wants a bad seed, right? So we all pray for the same thing. I, I just want to have a, a, a normal child that expresses himself through his art or artistically and, you know, something like his dad in that matter. You know, I just, I want him to be free, man. Like, I don't want him to discriminate against people, who pre prejudice, none of that shit, you know, none of that bullshit, man. My stage name isn't my real name, which is named after the God MC Rakim himself. I felt like that that was like if I was a basketball player, I got named Michael Jordan. You know, that's like somebody in this day and age being named Jay Z or Kanye. Like, you know? Like you that's how that that's what that's equivalent to. I felt those shoes were so big to fulfill. I felt like I needed to earn my right to even call myself that. I just me personally internally i felt that way and um i got his okay and you know my nickname i got from most deaf pretty flacco his is pretty flacco bay that's why I'm, yeah yeah so i get all my names from like rappers and stuff and uh as long as i get the green light i run with it and i just try to make them proud within my legacy and lineage like i just want to do the right thing and knock down doors that they never did and accomplish things that they never thought that they could do because whoever comes after me got to do it bigger and better you know and that's all i want to do is just make sure that we line it up for long legacy in this genre man we still strong going on 40 years man we still here i want to make everybody proud you know 
that's just me. I'm, I'm eager to do that. I want to make everyone proud, honestly. You know, and um, even you guys, just being able to say, I worked with that guy. You know what? I respect his shit. I like his shit. I'm proud of that kid. Like, I f*** with him. That's what I want. That's what I'm in it for. That's what I do it for. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's never going to change. I'm never going to be too egotistical to say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm richer than the rappers I, would, I was named after and I did this and that and I don't. I don't give a f you know, that's just whatever, you know, that's just not my motto, that's not my thing, that's not my, that's not my swag, so for me, I just want to make everybody proud, because I'm a student, and I'm always learning, and, you know, the gratitude from certain people and individuals and validation is what counts, you know, I grew up in a household of four siblings, but uh, in general, there's 14 of us, and yeah, man, it's a lot of us, a lot of responsibilities. I'm the oldest, yeah, I'm, I'm the oldest from my pop's side, so my pop's passed away, and here I am with my brothers, and I'm like a dad figure in that sense, so that's why I was like, I've, I've kind of been a dad for a while now, technically, you know? It taught me I was just a weird mother man. I was just, I was, like, <laughs> different from all of them. I was a strange one, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like the weird shit, like s music that people wouldn't even suspect me to like. Like, what kid you know like Bob Dylan and Buddy Holly and these motherfuckers and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, listening to Bob Marley and Bougie Bonton and, I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm just, do you, do you. Because where we from, it's supposed to just be, yo, I only listen to mother. You know what I'm saying? I only listen to hoodie rap. That's it. I'm a killer. You know what I'm saying? That's the attitude. But now it's just like, if you're not on that, you're a You advocate for and all that if not it's just you know it's braggadocious shit not to say that i don't have that in my rhymes that's just the culture we come from but uh i think that there's more to me than just like that layer of just braggadocious lackluster shit you know that everybody's doing and the layers go way deeper than that you know and um i want you to invent your own style right on top of that your your, your rapping capabilities have to be god level and when I say that, I mean you got to be able to go and get index and pick different flows, different cadences, and you know. Also, I think what makes you a, a, a really, really, really dope MC today is when so many people from different backgrounds with you and can relate to you or listen to you, you know. And it's just like so many people speak to one demographic or target one demographic, but. When you have that wide range of just different people and different backgrounds that come together and can agree upon like the body of work or just that artist in general, I think that's what makes you like God MC and somebody who doesn't do the whole bells and whistles, cheat code, clout thing. Like, you know, that's just it. I was on my way over here and I was talking to my boy and I, we were just talking about how the kids are now like saying like, you know, Future had a way better album than Kendrick Lamar and nobody wanted to listen to Kendrick and I was just I was flabbergasted like what the f you know what I'm saying like I'm trying to figure out what day and age am I living in that people's like granted you could like Future over Kendrick but where do you get off saying Kendrick is ass and his music is mid inspiration that's what makes a dope MC look if you can inspire motherfuckers and shit like that yes so individuality Rapping capability, um, a sign of development and being mature, and being mature, and last but not least, inspiration, man. It's, if you can inspire, you know what I mean, people from different backgrounds and all that shit, and reach, reach on on those people. That's what I feel like is like technically God MCs. You know, life throws you lemons. I make Sprite remix while everybody's drinking lemonade and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just. I just like to make the best of each situation. You can't stop, man. Life is going to throw you lemons. There's going to be days that you just feel like you can't even get out of bed. Today was one of them. You know what? <laughs> Everybody on the screen laughing and shit, but it's true. It's true, though. You know, it's just like it's it's one of those things where what keeps me going is the passion to create. I know that. I feel like a genius, right? And I know that's some real self-centered shit to say. Within my own right, what I do, I feel like I mastered a lot of the things that I do. 
and within those those margins i feel like i'm a genius in that in that realm and um i i wake up every day for change man i just want to i want to invent something new i want to design something new i want to say something new i want to direct something new i want to write something new i want to do something that's going to inspire my older than me younger than me you know that's why i want other mother my age or younger or older to do the same thing keep it going we all got to be inspired man you know it's just like i'll use this for example like you if need for speed gave up they would have gave up a long time ago because we got grant that photo we got gran turismo we got this this that what the f does that mean i don't have nothing to do with need for speed you get what i'm saying i'm trying to make an analogy connect out of this but you get what i mean you still keep going and we're gonna make the best out of it you make the best out of it, not saying, oh, we making the best out of a sit shitty situation. No, no. I'm saying you make the best out of what the best is, you know, and that's that's what I want to do. And that's what gets me up every day. My folks in there could tell you every day. My conversations when I was 16, where the hoes at? Where the bitches at? Where the girls? Where, yo, you going shopping? Oh, I ain't got no money. That was it. Now. Where's the what's the new designs? Yo, did you see this video? Look, we should do this. Hey, this would be dope on stage. My boys give me like that's just where I am now, and um, that's what wakes me up. I hope I'm not being too boring right now, but it's it's the truth. I want I want people to know that, especially about me. I'm I have insecurities. I have obstacles. I have ambitions. And I have failures, just like everybody else, just like all of us. And best part about life is waking up to be able to accomplish it again and do better. And that's just, that's it for me, man. And I know it sounds positive and uh, that's the truth, though. And I hate to sound so boring and shit, but it's the truth. You feel me? Like, that's it, man. That's what we in it for. And I, I want to encourage the young motherfuckers and people who even from other cultures that just get into the culture it's never, it's never too late you know i just want to encourage people that who all share struggle or is sharing a struggle even trying to accomplish anything man i just want to give them that ambition man some words of encouragement always strive always prosper man